Hey guys, what is going on? Sleeping Night 77, aka Kyle, and welcome to my trick room. Today we are going against Old Man Tup and his Pittsburgh Piratitas. A uh, in a game of names of people who often get their name mispronounced. <laughs> uh, uh, of course, me being the two Canadians and him being the Piratitas, we uh, I actually got the inspiration from from four two Canadians from his Piratitas. So. Uh, I've been watching Old Man Tup since uh, he got into the GBA, so obviously he's, he's kind of a big inspiration. He's always been he's always been a nice guy, uh, always been a nice guy to me ever since he joined the GBA, and uh, I, I like to I like to joke around with him a lot. So um, as you can see, we are bringing the Politoed, the Guzzlord Cloister, the Crozma Monferno making its debut, and Cricketoon as Tup is rocking out with the Zygarde fifty percent. Empoleon, Aromatisse, uh, Mega Beedrill, the Lucario, and Zapdos. So as you can kind of tell, like right off the bat here, um, like his team is kind of bulky, bar the uh, like Lucario and the Mega Beedrill, which aren't that bulky. But um, his team does have a lot of a lot of defense to it, whereas mine is kind of um, a mismatch of stuff that I can put together. <laughs> Um, that I feel would be his team. We are bringing uh, the Stored Power Necrozma. Well, uh, we brought Poisonium Z on Monferno for Aromatisse, uh, Sticky Whip Platoon, Shell Smash Cloister, uh, AV uh, thing there, Guzzlord, and uh, not Resto Chesto. It is kind of a more offensive build of uh, Politoed this week um, with Focus Blast in case it does get sent out again. Napoleon. So, um, without any further ado, we're just going to hop right into the battle. And uh, as you can see, the leads are It Rains Now, my Politoed versus uh, his Zapdos. Um, I don't remember what he Zapdos. I will find out in one second. But uh, I do lead off with It Rains Now, which is our Politoed. And he leads off with Big Burb, which is the Zapdos, which is a very appropriate name for it. I should have remembered that. But. Um, I set up the drizzle, and immediately I'm like, well, I'm in a bad spot, um, because no matter, I, I guess no matter what uh, I sent out, whether it was, like, a normal lead of, uh, Krigatoon, um, or uh, Politoed, I was gonna get either heat waved or, um, bolt switched out, and he sends out Napoleon, I fire off a Scald, which does all of nothing, and, uh, I, I don't get a burn, because... I don't get a burn. <laughs> uh, I do uh, have the leftovers, and I do hit Focus Blast again. Two Focus Blasts in a row. I hit one against Papa. I get a super effective and a crit because I was like, "Wow, that's a lot." He decides to toxic. Um, so I know that that's good information to have, knowing that uh, Necrozma can't set up on Empoleon because Empoleon has toxic. So. Uh, I do get a little bit of leftovers recovery back and uh, hit my poison, so they kind of counteract. Um, but he does withdraw Poseidon, <coughs> excuse me, and goes into Beyonce, which is Aromatisse. And I fire off another Focus Blast, and I hit another Focus Blast. So I am three for three on the season. This luck is not. This is this is literally my luckiest streak of all of uh, of all of uh, NPA so far. But. Uh, I know that this thing is very bulky, very bulky on the special side. I used this thing a lot during RU and uh, during RU or S days, and I know that something needs to be done about it, but I'm not quite sure what yet. I do fire off a Scald, and I finally get a burn. Finally get a 30% burn on the season as he fires off a Wish, and now he kind of has a decision to make whether he wants to heal up his Aromatisse or he wants to heal up Empoleon. I think he thought that I was just going to freely switch out and uh, go into something else here, but that would have meant a free switch in for him if he did wish back into Empoleon, so he kind of has a decision here. Um, he does fire off the Protect here to just get his Aromatisse back up to full. Um, I do go for the Focus Blast predicting the Empoleon switch just in case, and my Rain does go away, so my Scalds are going to be doing significantly less, and this Aromatisse is back up to full. I know I only have like two more turns left with the poison, so um, Politoed kind of is a waste at this point. 
um, because it doesn't it doesn't really hit anything for super effective damage with its stabs. So it's kind of just a wall, and at this point, the wall has been diminished due to the poison. So uh, rather than just save it, I'm going to let it go down. Uh, Aromatis fires off a wish. I fire off a scald, and uh, the of course leftovers are going to be counteracted by the burn. And poison does take me out. So Empoleon does pick up a kill against a Politoed there, and uh, Aromatis takes a little bit more. And I send out Aegis here, which is the Inferno. Uh, I am going to just go for a Flare Blitz to see how much it was gonna do, but uh, he decides to go out in a Big Burb and I'm just going to fire off Flare Blitz. Um, it's not going to do too, too much because I know that this is a defensive uh, Zapdos, but it does a little bit more than I expected. And I think that, uh, that I think that I uh, expected anyway, but uh, he does get uh, back up full just because that's what uh, the Wish does. And he does full switch out. I do survive uh, pretty easily. And he does send out Beyonce again, which is Aromatis, and I just go for the Stealth Rocks. And this is the moment that I wanted, right here. Aromatis versus Monferno, and I'm praying that he does not go for a Protect. Because I can poison EMZ and kill it right here, and I don't have to deal with this thing for the rest of the match. He doesn't Protect, I get the poison EMZ off, poison him, poison EMZ, gunk shot, firing off with Monferno, killing this Aromatis. So thank God, thank God that worked out. I don't have to deal with this stupid Aromatis anymore, and it's bulky piece of yeah. I hate Aroma. I hate going against Aromatis. It is literally my. I hate it so much. Um, I love it when it's on my team, um, but I hate it going against the other team. But he does send out Glorious, um, which is his uh, Mega Beedrill. And he is just going to Mega up here and fire off a Poison Drive to take me out, which is completely fine. I didn't want to send anything in against um, the Mega Beedrill um, to take a lot of damage and uh, Aegis here, um, Hugo, um, kind of did its worst as I fire off <laughs> fire off a Mach Punch that did all of like 6 damage. <laughs> so yeah, um, did its job, good job Monferno, and I'm going to send out Sub Alert, which is the uh, Cricketune. I should have predicted that he was going to, to U-turn here take a little bit of time with it I should have just uh, set up the sticky webs but I feel like that would have um, had this big burb go for uh, something a little bit more so I just decided to go for the aerial ace obviously it's not going to do too much to Zapdos um, but uh, if I set up sticky webs there I think he goes for defog rather than heat wave um, which he is going to go for right here and he is going to hit and he is going to take out my cartoon so again, Cricketune doesn't get up webs, doesn't really do too much. Uh, Cricketune, I promise, one day, buddy, one week, I promise. Uh, and uh, this uh, big bear does get uh, leftovers recovery. I'm going to send out Guzzlord um, because this thing does have Stone Edge, and uh, he's just going to Volt Switch out, and it's going to do all of nothing because special defense on Guzzlord is a thing. So he's going to send out Poseidon, and I am going to go for the stone edge and I am going to actually hit a stone edge so we hit two focus blasts and a stone edge this week and I am quite proud and uh, he is just going to toxic uh, my uh, guzzlord which is more than okay um, I know that after this thing goes down I'm going to get hit by a giant u-turn anyway and I can't really switch anything in on a u-turn um, Poseidon goes down uh, to, thanks to the knockoff and uh, he did have shed shell on his uh on his Empoleon for Doug Trio, which did not come this week. And he sends out Glorious U turn, uh, adaptability U turn uh, to a base 53 defense. Uh, Guzzlord here is going to easily take it out no matter how much HP uh, investment I put into it. It's not survived. So, um, this is the time where Necrozma has to set up. Um, he sends out Big Burb. And I'm going to send out Necrozma here. I figured um, since he sent out Big Burb, um, I would send out Necrozma here because obviously I can't send out Cloister for one. And two, since he had Toxic on Empoleon, I didn't think that he would have it on his um, on his Zapdos. So he is going to Volt Switch here. 
and go out into Lucario, which I feel like kind of was his counter to this a little bit. Um, not too, too much, but had he send out uh, Zygarde here, he did actually um, reveal to me that he was Dragonium Z um, Zygarde. So had he just gone for the Dragonium Z um, Zygarde um, uh, outrage right off the bat, I think he might have had a chance to kill me. But he does go just go for the crunch. He is going for the defense drops. And I am just going to try and set up. I already sent up one iron defense, and I'm going to go for the Calm Mind here. Um, I have to go for the, uh, the Moonlight, or I'm going to go for a second iron defense um, right here because um, Leftovers Recover me are going. Leftovers Recovery, excuse me, is going to bring me up to a range where I do even live a crit. So uh, he is going to just crunch here, and uh, oh, there's a crit. <laughs> Brings me down to 24, and I do set up another iron defense. So. If he does decide to uh, crunch here, uh, barring a very, very high roll, um, he is not going to take me out. But uh, only seeing 36 HP um, with a plus four uh, life orb, plus orb defense against a life orb uh, crunching Lucario was kind of scary. But I do just go for the morning sun here. I live on five and uh, I'm going to get back up to full. And as soon as I get back up to full, um, I'm going to uh, just sword power this thing away. Um, on this second morning sun though, he decides to go for the swords dance, which is very scary. Had I just stored power there, I would have been able to kill it, but I wanted to make sure that I took as little damage as possible from a U-turn. So, uh, I just decided to go back up to full, and uh, his crunches are going to be doing a little bit more, as I'm only technical plus two. Um, so it is going to be doing about like 20-25%, but I just go for the stored power and I do take out Lucario here. And uh, only one thing right now is going to save him, and that is a crit on uh, Mega Beedrill. So I know he needs to send out the Mega Beedrill here. Um, with Stealth Rocks, the Mega Beedrill is not going to survive another turn. So uh, he does need to U-turn out and go into either Zapdos or go into... <laughs> Okay, there's the crit. I... I don't know... I... I don't know what to do anymore. Being crit two times, two times in four turns, just... When you're perfectly set up, it's just kind of a... Kind of a tragedy, I guess. So I, I do have to send out Cloyster here for the Adam and Ice Shard, which is not going to take out the big burp. He's going to Volt Switch. And with Cloyster's Paper Thin Defenses, we fall to Old Man Tup and his Pittsburgh Parad has 3 nothing. Good game to Tup. Um, I'm not salty against him. So, the ending of this commentary, uh, please don't take that the wrong way. Um, to everyone who's watching, I'm not I'm not salty against Tup. Um, he did the one thing that he had to do to win, and that was send out, um, and that was send out uh, Mega Beedrill there. U turn and crit, and being crit two turns earlier, that was an eighty what an a ninety three percent chance. I think it's at like a seven percent chance to crit in the first place. So for that to happen twice in four turns. I just, uh, it's just kind of, at a, kind of at a loss for words at this point. So we do fall to one and six. Please go check out Old Man Tup. His links will be in the description down below. Um, again, he has been nothing but nice to me. He is a, he's a cool dude. Um, he's a cool old man. <laughs> um, but uh, next week we are playing uh, Leo and his Durham Dredagons. If you do remember, we did beat him in P4G, but we did uh, fall to him uh, in his... Dang aromatis in uh, in APA this past season. So until then, guys, I'm Sleepy Night 77, and I am going to go to sleep. Good night.